we're going to take a look at a simplified diagram of the coronavirus um, and its life cycle as it works its way through the cell to make more um, viruses to send out into the host. So um, this is simplified, but will hopefully help you see how some proteins and nucleic acids um, and processes are involved um, here. So we have our coronavirus outside of the cell. This is a cell. We have a couple of things for reference down here. Positive sense, single strand mRNA. That's what's inside of the coronavirus. We also have negative sense um, mRNA, which we'll see show up in the process. We have the host cell ribosomes. So those are actually sitting here already in the cell before that um, coronavirus has come in and we'll draw a couple of those. Um, so those are host cell ribosomes already there. Um, later we'll see that the virus is able to um, create its own replication and transcription complex. And then we also will look at one of the structural proteins in particular, there are four, um, the spike glycoproteins are here, these pink things, um, surrounding our coronavirus. Those are key in that they um, attach to the ACE2 receptor, which um, enables that coronavirus to move into the cell. And once that coronavirus moves into the cell, it opens up. So we have um, now the mRNA is able to get out into the cell. It's not locked up inside of that protective um, virus envelope. So the first thing that that mRNA does, because it's positive sense, that means it's ready to read right away, the five prime to three prime, um, means it's ready to read through the host ribosome. So it's going to be read by the host ribosome. Um, when you have mRNA going through a host ribosome, this process is called translation. And we know that translation gives us a protein. So as this mRNA is being read, I'm going to get a protein. Um, this is actually about two thirds of the mRNA in the um, coronavirus genome is used to make um, this protein. And that's actually two what we call polyproteins. Those two polyproteins are then processed by um, what's called the main protease. And that is um, a protein cutting enzyme that is also coded for by this mRNA. That main protease um, takes this two polyprotein, <coughs> excuse me, two polyproteins, and cuts them into many more smaller proteins and assembles them into um, what we call the replication and transcription complex. And this is now going to be the crucial machinery to help um, make more coronaviruses. So this um, replication and transcription complex is used in a couple of different ways. Um, one of the ways that it's used is to make more copies of this viral genome. And so that um, replication and transcription complex can be used to run those mRNAs through. Okay, so here's that original full mRNA sequence that came out of the coronavirus. It can run through here, and as a result, it can produce an identical copy, except that the identical copy is with the opposite direction. And so I now have taken my positive mRNA, and I've made a negative copy of that genome. In order to build these um, new viruses, I need to get that back to the positive um, sense. And so we can run that negative sense um, mRNA back through my complex here. So if we run the blue through, then I get the opposite um, directionality and I get that positive mRNA that I want to eventually be able to package up here. Um, another thing that we can do when we generate more of this positive mRNA is I can use it to send back up here through the ribosome and make more of these um, replication and transcription complexes. So we've got um, one thing that we can use that for, and these processes here um, are both called replication. Replication because we're taking a full strand of mRNA and making a complementary strand of mRNA, and same thing here. So these are both replication. Now, another thing that I can take this um, RTC up to do is, let's move up here. Um, so I can take that and I can run 
my same mRNA genome through. And this is a much more complicated process than what I'm able to show you here. But I can take that positive mRNA and I can run it through in what's called discontinuous viral transcription. So I get um, not a continuous genome like I had here, but I actually get um, some smaller fragments, opposite directionality, right? Smaller fragments of mRNA. And these are actually called sub genomic mRNA. In other words, smaller than the whole genome. And each of these fragments that I've shown you here that were produced code for one of the four um, structural proteins. So we have the spike protein. We have these written over here as well. We have the membrane protein. We have the nucleoprotein, or sometimes that's called a nucleocapsid. And we have an envelope protein. This is not yet the proteins. This is just the DNA code for those, all right? Now, they are in the wrong form to be read by my ribosome, and so I need to send them through one more time. Um, and this is actually a process that we call transcription. It's that discontinuous, so not continuous, um, transcription that I mentioned um, a minute ago. So we're gonna take each of those, and we will run those small fragments, say the spike one, um, through my RTC again, and now we're going to reverse the direction, and so out of this I can produce, um, or I could show it being produced, um, the positive sense spike protein mRNA. Now mRNA can be read by the host ribosome, and so this bit of spike protein mRNA can now be read by the host ribosome, and we know when mRNA goes through a ribosome, I'm able to produce a protein. And so what I get here is I'm going to start to produce little spike proteins, um, not on the surface of the ribosome, but this is my spike mRNA code coding for these um, spike proteins. And so as a result of that, I start to be able to build up a bunch of spike proteins. So I would end up with spike proteins. I would also end up with um, those membrane proteins. Um, the nucleoproteins and the envelope proteins. So I'm able to produce all of the proteins that I need. So I now have all of the components that I need to make these new viruses. Um, I have the structural proteins. I have fresh copies of mRNA. Um, there's a whole bunch of steps I'm going to skip here. So we're not going to picture the assembly of those um, proteins and that mRNA, but they are assembled together and then I get these new viruses. This is good news for the coronavirus because it has now um, got more copies of itself. It's bad news for the host because those viruses will now leave the cell and go into new cells and spread throughout your body. So one more quick thing I wanna show you um, on this picture. Um, first of all, one more label here. So this is translation. Again, so we have a few labels um, throughout here. We had the translation initially of the whole genome or of two thirds of the genome. We later had replication of that mRNA. Um, here we had discontinuous transcription. So we got um, fragments of mRNA out and then here we have translation again. So you're familiar with some of those terms from what we learned about nucleic acids. Um, last thing I wanna show you is with our vaccine, um, what we are, going to see with our mRNA vaccines, again, very much simplified, is our mRNA vaccines are going to just be that bit of mRNA that codes for the spike protein. And actually, um, we don't know exactly all the details from each company, but um, the companies have modified slightly the spike protein um, mRNA, but we jump with that vaccine. First, we seal it in a little um, nano lipid, so a small protective lipid layer, and then that can jump right in here and be translated into the spike proteins, and then those spike proteins can train our immune system to recognize anything with a spike protein and destroy it before it has a chance to get into the cell. Um, so that's how the mRNA vaccines um, fit into this. One other thing that fits into this is when you hear about antiviral 
uh, medications. Antiviral medications would target um, various steps in these processes. So for example, um, there are antivirals that will try to inhibit this main protease um, or could inhibit um, aspects of this um, replication and transcription process or replication and transcription complex um, or the assembly here. And so antivirals, you want to use those early in a virus so that you can stop all of this viral production early on. So I hope that that gives you a glimpse of a coronavirus making new mRNA, making new structural proteins, getting um, those new virions to send out, and also how the vaccine fits into that whole situation.